We all vividly remember the first conversations that we had about this idea. And the questions were, could we do it? The answer is yes. The University of Maryland Medical System, Johns Hopkins Health System, and the state of Maryland all came together to create a field hospital inside the Baltimore Convention Center, increasing surge capacity for hospitalized COVID patients. It opened one year ago Tuesday. A year ago, we were in very uncertain times. We had no idea how big this was going to be, how many waves. Uh, we hadn't even started getting the testing program off the ground, but we knew we had the surge coming. And that's where we, that's when we started this uh, initiative. The hospital has 250 beds and luckily has never gotten close to capacity. But in the last year, the convention center also became a testing site, a monoclonal antibody infusion center, and now a vaccination clinic. We couldn't have done it without our frontline staff. They're the ones that have really stepped up. They're the ones that are often working shifts at our local hospitals and then working an additional shift with us. So it's really thanks to them. Secretary Schrader says though hospitalizations remain high, the case count appears to be dropping. He's hopeful that means we're at the end of a fourth wave. No one knows if there's more to come. But for health care workers, it's been a long year and they hope everyone will continue to follow safety guidelines and get vaccinated. I think like everybody, we just want COVID to be over, right? We want to be able to go back. I want to get vaccines in arms. I want us to get to that herd immunity state where we can close these doors and get out of the COVID business. We know it's going to be around for a while, but that as a healthcare worker is what I want. Secretary Schrader says there are no plans for when they will close this field hospital. Reporting live downtown, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.